I've fallen way behind in my writing and I decided to see how much I can catch up in just one day. I made sure to do this on a day where I could put away all my other obligations. When I woke up I basically just washed my face and got to it. Hello, I'm Amelia. I'm an indie author and let's see how much writing I can get done in one day. Okay, so I'm way behind with the second Infernal Cave book and I also took on another project that has a time limit and it needs to be done very soon. And I've also seen like other people take on this challenge, like writing for a whole day. So what better opportunity to do it and hopefully catch up on some things. Now, my day started at like 10 because a uh, sleep schedule. I felt like the most logical thing was to start with the Infernal Cave book because that needs to be done and I was close to the end. I just need to finish that first draft that has taken me way longer than it should have. But you know what? I did it! And I also typed the end just, you know, for the video's sake. I then went on to the other project that I will call Project Time Traveler. It's for competition, so I will not talk too much about it. But I kind of took it on and decided to do it just recently. So my focus was to get started. At least for a while, but then I started to really lose my focus. As you can see, I really tried keeping up with putting words on the screen, but I just started to stare at my screens and, you know, my keyboard and everything. And I don't know about you, but when I lose folks, I need to do something to get back into it. Like, if I start to lose focus, I'm probably lost if I continue to try. So, I turn to drinks for motivation. Uh, in this case specifically vitamin C and electrolytes. I tend to mix them together when I have the same flavoring. Just get them both in and actually get some taste out of it. And since I knew that wouldn't be enough, I also turned to caffeine for help. So. I mixed up my coffee and you will not see me put water in it because I did that earlier for the sweeteners to melt because I really don't like warm coffee at all but I do need the caffeine but I drink it cold with sweetener and I prefer the sheep coffee that I got and also oat milk I mean, I just don't really like normal milk. But, you know, let's get back to writing. But both of these actually helped me get back into the mood of writing and spew out a few words more. <laughs> and like, I love writing, I really do, but I also really struggle to focus on it sometimes. And as you will see, I did lose my focus again. Probably after like 
sitting by my computer for the whole day. This time I went and made some cookies because I, you know, was a bit hunger and a bit like I wanted something to snack on while writing. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't, but I got a bit further and a few more chapters <laughs> and then my focus was gone again. <laughs> Like, for a while I kept my focus really well during like the Strong Strain of Punk and starting this project, but then my brain kind of turned to mush. <laughs> so, you know, just picking one song turned into I'm not writing anymore. I'm just queuing up songs. So I needed to do something to get my focus back and I decided to change location. Now I usually don't write on my laptop because I have a nice keyboard and I also don't usually write in my bed but it felt like a change of environment and it helped. And by that time it was around 12 o'clock, it was midnight. But that change of location actually helped keep me writing for a while longer until I actually started to like get tired but I still tried my best to write a bit more like I had a point I wanted to reach but I also decided to go to bed when I really couldn't regain my focus anymore. In total I ended up with around 10k words which is far less than I would have hoped for but still a lot more than I've written in a very long time now. I also had a lot of fun like recording small snippets here and there throughout the day and trying out a different workflow. Now would I recommend just dedicating a whole day to writing that depends on you <laughs> uh, for me it was a fun challenge and like a kickstart to get me back into gear but I would recommend having drinks and snacks prepared and having them throughout the day to keep your brain in shape you know like I didn't Thank you so much for watching, have a great adventure and I hope to see you in the next video, bye!